We're joined by CSU Bakersfield head coach Rod Barnes and student athletes Diedrich Basil, Damian Durham, and Kevin Mays. Coach, can you just start with an opening statement? <laughs> I can start without praising God. First, uh, man, a special group of young men. Uh, Got to give New Mexico State a lot of credit. They're very talented, a very sound program, good players, good coaches. Um, it's just, it was our night. Uh, it's just our turn. It was our time. And uh, we talked about this since last year, and I'm just so thankful to be a part of this team. And uh, love these guys. They're a special group of guys. It's been a fantastic year. And, you know, Kevin May said it last night, you know, this is what we would like to close out his senior year. Uh, what a great win against uh, the best team that's been in this league for the last four or five years. So I'm just excited for our players and university and uh, just for everyone that has given of themselves for us to have this successful night. Questions? Coach, uh, I guess nothing more poetic than to beat the team that beat you in double overtime at home at the buzzer and then to finally beat them after 11 tries when it matters most. Well, it mattered a lot, I can tell you that. And um, again, it was a big shot by Diedrich, but um, it was a lot of work to get us to that point. This team never looked nervous or concerned or fearful, even when they made runs after we had to leave. But um, it's, man, it's just almost speechless uh, how much I care for these young men and how much they care for each other. Coach, I, I know it was early in the game, but you guys got off to like a 10-3 start and then they tied you and you pulled out again. They seemed to be making a lot of turnovers. Did, did you feel like you're, maybe your guys got a lot of confidence or did you sense anything during any breaks that something was happening early? No, I didn't. I mean, I, we, <laughs> we lost at home. I think we had like a 14 or 15 point lead and didn't score for like six or seven minutes. So we knew, I mean, we, you know, and saying to ourselves, we think we can play with them. We know that, again, they're a good team. We went to their place and had the lead, too, and Ali Ahmed got, went out the game and, you know, it kind of hurt us, and we didn't score there. But I think our guys would, you know, we went into the game expecting to win. That's the first thing. But I don't think at any point there was a change. Uh, we, we're a defensive-minded team. We believe in our defense. Uh, you know, even in the time when they made their run, you know, our players kept saying they made a run. Now we got to shut them down. So I don't think it was not, I mean, I don't think there was one place or one time in the game. I think the whole game plan was, you know, to felt like we could defend them. And we knew, again, they're a good team. I mean, we, we kind of told our guys, they, they're going to make runs like we're going to make runs. You got two good teams playing against each other. But to answer your question, I don't think there was a point that we gained any more confidence than we had going into the game. Coach, you guys never trailed. You, you damn near went wire to wire. Can you fathom how, how much of a team effort that takes to do that, especially against a team like New Mexico State? Well, I mean, that's kind of the way we've been. I mean, I think because they're so good, we didn't – if you look at our scores, I mean, we play a great Grand Canyon <coughs> team, and I think we beat them about 15. You know, uh, we beat Seattle last night, and the night before we beat <coughs> Chicago State. So uh, the thing is, they were so good that they could come back. I mean, but, uh, you know, we expected, again, to go into the game. We felt like it was our game. We felt like we were ready to play. Uh, we felt like we could win. Uh, but, again, we knew they're the type of team that would come back. And they've been here. When you've done it as much as they've done, done it, they're not going to go away. I mean, they're, they're a championship program. They're going to come back. So the great thing about this team and the thing that I would like to say most, they never panicked. Or they never looked as I was talking to them. They never seemed to be uh, in a situation where they were nervous or afraid that we were going to lose the huddle. Uh, guys that were walk-ons and guys that were not playing, they kept saying, hey, man, we're going to get this game. Hey, do what <coughs> we do, and let's play great defense. And it happened for us. Deidre, you got, coaches have been talking all year that you guys have expected to be in this moment. Did you ever envision that you would make a shot like that? I mean, that's just – that's just something I always dreamed about, and I mean, it just happened. I mean, if it weren't for our team, we wouldn't be in that position, and one for coach, and like coach say, I mean, we put God first, so I mean, 
I mean, we just, he just came through. Diedrich, uh, and, and any of you guys can answer this. Uh, are, are you kind of living in the moment now? Are you able to kind of grasp what this means for the program and uh, going to the big dance and those sort of things for the first time in school history? That's a, that's a lifetime dream right there. And um, it's no better, I mean, there's no other team I would want to go with than this team right here. I mean, it just, it just lets people know the direction that the program is going in. <coughs> like, th this team is, is a great team, you know, and we're definitely going to make some noise in the tournament. I'm just, I'm just excited to be a part of it. Any other questions? Man, it, it was just in a moment. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an emotional guy, but I never show it too much, you know, but I just couldn't help it. Like, I felt like a little kid. <laughs> I mean, at that moment, it, just was, it was so much excitement, so much emotions running through me. I just had to, I just had to share that with, with my guys. Uh, this is for any of the players. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I showed up late to the party, but how good does it feel to be a roadrunner right now? It's good, baby. All runners. All runners, All runners baby. <laughs> Best time. What a time to be a runner. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.